Right now, we're queuing up the topic of coronavirus here on Q. Pam Kellogg is public health nurse with Moore County. The county has issued an advisory on this coronavirus. Pam, what is it? Well, coronaviruses do circulate, but this is a unique virus. It's COVID-19, and it's a virus that we've never seen circulate before. Um, it passes from person to person. However, this virus we believe originated from a wild animal. And does it look, is it like flu, like a person has the flu? A lot of times the symptoms are the same. Um, it's fever, scratchy throat. Um, however, um, in some people it can progress and become severe respiratory distress. And, and uh, unlike flu, we're hearing a lot of concern about it throughout the country, even though right now there's not a whole lot happening with it in Minnesota. Is that warranted? What, what should folks do to protect themselves? Well, the concern is because this is new, no one has any immunity to it. Whereas like with influenza, um, those are circulating all the time. Um, people can t get a vaccine to prevent influenza. And a lot of times we've had exposure, so we have some immunity. Whereas this, we have no defense. Um, and so that kind of what is what makes things a little scarier. Okay, like years ago, I think it was in the 90s, I was in Toronto as a reporter and the SARS thing happened. Correct. And I had to stay in my hotel. I, they had to make sure my temperature was okay before they let me get on an airplane. And this is the same type of thing where SARS had never been seen before. It came from a wild animal. Um, this is what COVID-19 is too, is something that humans have never seen before. Okay, what should we do to protect ourselves? Really, it's just simple things, um, covering your cough and washing your hand frequently. And also, if you're sick, stay home. Okay, and we have a, a little video. I mean, folks might think, I know how to wash my hands, you know, but there are some tips here that are, that are quite important that the experts are talking about. Let's take a look. Try and avoid sneezing into your hand because you just contaminate them and then spread those germs everywhere. Focus on sneezing into your elbow, like this, and then you don't contaminate your hands. Turn on the water, wet your hands, apply a good amount of soap and lather up, and then focus on washing your hands for about 20 seconds, about the time it takes to sing Happy Birthday twice. Focus on washing the front of your hands, the back, in between the fingers, around the nails, and so on. And then rinse everything off. Use something to wipe your hands after that, preferably something disposable like a paper towel, and then use that to turn off the tap as well. If you get a chance, use that to also open the door to the bathroom as you're leaving. The best way to wash your hands is using running water and soap, but sometimes we don't have that available. So think about carrying with you a hand sanitizer. That should have at least 60% alcohol content. For more information, visit www.cdc.gov or call 1-800-CDC-INFO. And we see on TV a lot of people wearing masks, like facial masks. Do you recommend that now? That is not recommended. Actually, a facial mask should be, should be worn by someone who has symptoms, and it's to prevent spreading to others. It should not be someone who's symptom-free. It doesn't prevent being um, infected. Okay. So you should not go out in mass uh, by mass. By mass, okay. and, yeah. But you, you get it from casual contact or can? Yes, it can be just from coughing, sneezing, so that's why those that are sick should stay home so um, you prevent the spread of the illness. Um, it, statistics are showing now 81% that do get this COVID-19 have very mild symptoms. Some don't even know that they have it. So just using that precaution of staying home, washing your hands and covering your cough. What about the hand sanitizers? That also is effective against COVID-19. Those little port yes. or little bottles of yes. things that you can Same get. Same with like white um, cleaning wipes. Those containers often will list what uh, viruses they will kill and typically coronavirus is one that's listed. And don't stay home, right? You don't have to stay home. Shouldn't not unless barricade if you're Ill. yourself absolutely in the basement. Absolutely not. No, absolutely right. not. Go out and live your life. Uh, and credible information, final question, you know, there's so much information out there. Do you have a recommended source, maybe an online source, where people can go where they know this is the real info? 
Uh, both sources would be the Minnesota Department of Health. They have a page that's specifically for the coronavirus. And also the CDC has a website that has lots of resources for businesses, community members, emergency personnel, um, many different topics. So for updates on that. Updates, that, yep. And that would be the Centers for Disease Control. Correct. Which is the federal government one or the Minnesota Department of, of Public Health. Correct. We will have this little conversation on our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, Pam Kellogg, thank you so very much. And thank, thank you, you for your 21 years of service yes. to public health in Mora County. That's, that's really wonderful. Thank, thank you. you.